Hey YouTube, this is Seamalock101 doing a Portal 2 Let's Play. This is part 1. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, please don't yell at me if there's a better way to do it, because... Yeah. I'm not going to be showing any... Uh, you can just do look at what I do, because this is just a Let's Play. This isn't a guide. Jump around. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear this the buzzer, is weird. look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Okay, to just stare at the eye, you just scroll forward. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring <laughs> hard has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. You crouch really low in this game. More realistic. Good. Now please return to your I can crouch under a desk. But in most games you only crouch down a little bit like that. Huh, I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. <sighs> nah, I'm not actually tired. I was just doing that for show. You have been in suspension for Hello? Anyone in there? Okay, welcome to chapter one. Oh god, you look um good. Looking good actually. Are you okay? How are you don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, sure you are. I want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Man, why can't I get up on top of that? You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you, Wheatley. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. <laughs> now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Uh, right. uh, Although if you, do, if you do feel alarm, try to hold on to that feeling, because <laughs> that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? I don't Just know why you can't go into that corner. Or that corner. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Now it'll let me out on okay, here. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? I'm doing good. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Really? Hold on, this is a bit tricky. No, it's not. Course, You're just shit at it. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Who would put him in why? charge, I don't know. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? No, you are not gonna make it through. No, you don't. Listen to me. Just gotta get through here. I, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds ten thousand flipping vegetables? Uh, your fault. Yeah, you're dead. See, there are other people, other people like me that you're okay, listen, destroying. We get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks. Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. <laughs> okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Docking station is down there. Good news. 
That is not a docking station. 600 so feet obviously. below. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. <laughs> manual override. <laughs> Almost there. Remember, you're I love his manual overrides and super technical ball. stuff. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. But what if I have brain damage, like you say? I probably won't figure it out. There we go. Damn it, I want to try to jump out. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment <laughs> We are currently do, experiencing do, 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 do. due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks do, do, do. to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. Do, do, These pre recorded do. messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three. <laughs> emergency testing, as if testing is the most important thing in the world. Ooh, where do I go now? Nah, I know where to go. I've already clocked the game. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. Do do do. In here. Whee! <sighs> do do do. Okay. Running down your neck. Relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Open that one. Grab it. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> Okay. I'll get right onto that one. <laughs> if the Earth yeah, is right. governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Awesome. Do 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 hey, you made it. Is Wheatley. Oh. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm still waiting for you on the head. The broken portal device. Sweet. I got a portal gun. I'm working. Do 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 do. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. Good. I love that line. Oh, turret. Detailed in the laws of robotics. Please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will <laughs> initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <sighs> okay. Next test 
is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two. I want to touch that. Oh, I want to. Uh, is there a way to die? I want to try to do that without touching it. And I need to go into it, then across. Do, do, do. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, <laughs> many observations related to your performance are spoken. Oh, I love this. Part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Whee! I love these random little upper floor bits. I don't quite know why they're there. Well, not all of them are there. I know why some of them are there. Okay, that concludes part one of my um, Let's Play. Stay tuned for part two.